Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? Um, it's gloomy again. It's pretty sunny today, but the weather's a bit crap. I've decided to do my third and final reaction video on this channel, on John O'Graham, um, because I don't want to sell out. This channel's more about my life here in Slovakia, and I think doing the reaction videos on here is a bit of a cop-out, and I don't want to do that. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to start another channel up just for reactions, which I'll be uploading on twice a day from Tuesday this week, which is the 31st, I believe, the 31st first of January. So if you'd like to check those out and subscribe onto that channel, that'll mean the world to me. I'll stick the link down in the description below. Uh, and without any further ado, we're going to react to uh, Peter, P -p -p Peter again. And his last one that I'm going to react to on this channel is Slovakia, of course. I think I've saved the best till last. I haven't seen this one yet. Um, like I've said before, I've saved it in my watch later for ages. And yeah, let's have a look. So without further ado, let's get into it. Time to lose most of my subscribers. Hello <laughs> guys, again over YouTube. Uh, I will make your mom laugh and See, that's what, what I'm worried about, guys, is I don't want to sell out and lose you guys over doing reactions. I, I'll do that on a whole different channel, so we'll get into that. <laughs> Yes, home. I am from Slovakia, a small country in Eastern Europe that... Uh, sorry, Central Europe. We uh -huh. are not Eastern Europe. We get mad if someone refers to us as Eastern Europe. Mm. That's right, I've brought it up in one of my videos before. I used to think it was Eastern Europe as well, and I've, I've said Eastern Europe a few times, and I've been told off, swiftly told off uh, for it, so... Try remember, it's Central Europe. What do you mean Eastern Europe? We are Central Europe, not Eastern. <laughs> Is this how an Eastern European looks? No, I don't think so. It can be quite challenging to be from a country that is not very well known in the world. You need to deal with all sorts of terrible reactions. Ah! Slovenia! Czechoslovakia! Russia! Is that in the US? Yugoslavia! <laughs> ah, so <laughs> ah. <laughs> Look at him, he's so... With that wig. It's a country. But that's near uh, Ru Russia. There's a whole f***ing country oh. between us and Russia, okay? Mm, yeah, central. I got so frustrated by these reactions that rather than telling the truth, I started to come up with absurd answers. Where are you from? Mordor. <laughs> well, at least you're not from Slovakia. <laughs> yeah, many people think we are a third world country and I can picture what they imagine when I say I'm from Slovakia. <laughs> okay. I am originally from a third world country in South Africa and with those lights flickering I don't know if you know about South Africa at the moment it's one of the sunniest places you can go but they every day they get load shedding where they set times where they turn your electricity off I've lived in Slovakia for over two years now and we've only ever had one power cut and that was for a few hours during the day and it was on and off so and that was quite recently when the goose eggs were in the incubator so Actually, two power cuts. We had one over a storm as well, but nothing major. And I mean, it happens. We had a longer power cut. We lost power in the UK for about a week when they were doing roadworks and they chopped through our uh, cables and we had to have a big generator outside. So the electricity is pretty, uh, pretty reliable here. <laughs> Mom, the electricity is back on. Let's fry the pig's feet. I ate them raw. Ah, you <laughs> disgusting bitch. That is absolutely not true. Apart from electricity, we have the most majestic mountains. Beautiful. The most beautiful women. The Fact. Slovakia has got the most beautiful woman. And I'm not just saying that because my missus is from Slovakia. I'll tell you what. You go into town and... It's amazing. Look, the, the ladies here are beautiful. The blokes are good looking too. No, uh, you know, but it's a good looking nation. Good looking bunch of people. Most stunning nature. We are also the most racist nation in the European Union. Unfortunately, it's true. On the con I don't know if that's true. Like I've said before, I've been asked this question a lot of times. Like, do I think Slovakia is racist? And I can't answer that. I've never experienced it. I'm not a person of color, so I can't, I can't answer that honestly. And like, I don't want to be offensive by even bringing it up. If he says it's true, I'll look it up online. I don't know. I really don't know. Contrary though, Slovaks are considered as incredibly generous people. Come here, sweetie. Come get Fact. some apples. Thank you, ma'am. I'm not hungry, but my friend John said he was. <laughs> the most popular Jeez, sport in Slovakia is ice hockey. 
ice hockey it's something i'm getting so into now my son plays hockey um he's doing so well in his hockey he's he's playing amazingly we were at one of his games yesterday well he had three games yesterday and yeah he's doing so well he's i'm getting really into it i mean i think they should bring a defibrillator with when i go watch hockey because i get so into it and I'm, I'm like so pumped i still don't understand all the rules yet i'm getting there he's explaining them to me uh he's been playing for three months i think it is now and he's just gone up and up and up and they've actually put him in they've given him the option which he's decided to take to move to a school that focuses on sport as well so he's going to a new school in september and i couldn't be more proud and yep i'm turning into a bit of a, a hockey lover <laughs> 2002 what a year the annual ice hockey world championship is a big event for the entire nation we get our hopes up for two weeks and then we bitch about everything a vicious cycle every year e ja sa veľmi nezaujímam o hokej ak mám pravdu povedať koko ti pojebani zase ideme s hambou domov to je v piči táto krajina hokej to je to stoulo I think I can relate to this, even though I don't understand everything he's saying, because as a rugby fan, um, I love my rugby. Uh, the World Cup is this year, and I know what he's saying there. You're so pumped when it starts, and then you lose a game, you lose all hope. But yeah, I think any fan of any sports can relate to what he's saying without even understanding. His facial expressions say it all. And yet, football. The Slovak cuisine <laughs> is really delicious for many people. Not for me. We have so many dishes with sour cheese or sour milk. Fact. Man, our national drink is basically spoiled milk. Who came up with this idea? <laughs> Dude, we have so much milk, but plain milk is so boring as a national drink. What about sweet milk? No, chocolate <laughs> milk? Nah, spoiled milk? <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs> I've tried this milk. We get it in South Africa as well. It's called Mars in South Africa. But I don't get it either. Like, why would you drink sour milk? Fresh milk is so good. And it's fact, like, there's so many sour milk or sour products. I really don't get it. <laughs> face. Oh, yeah, you know, I can't every drink country it. has its own customs and traditions that seem a bit odd to other people. In Slovakia during Easter, we pour water on women, then we whip them with a the wooden whip, and then yep. they give us money. That's absolutely unacceptable. This shouldn't happen in the 21st century. <laughs> the women are at least equal, if not superior. <laughs> yeah, Slovakia may not be the best country for me. Oh, it's so factual. I was so confused. My first Easter, yeah, I was like, what the heck is going on? My nephew came over. And he's a big guy, he's like my heart, I'm 6'3", uh, but he's quite broader than me. And he starts whacking my missus and throwing water on her. I was ready to rumble, I was ready to rumble, and then I was explaining what was going on. Feminists. Anyway, I'm not a huge fan of this Easter whipping, not because I'm a feminist, which I assure you I'm not. Come on, me. <laughs> but because when I was a kid, my drunk uncle made Easter very traumatic for me. Ah, you deserve some whipping! Happy Easter! <laughs> Stop! I'm not a girl! I'm your nephew Peter! Give me some money, you little shit! And Uncle, stop, stop whining! It hurts! You're drunk! Or I'll fucking kill you! Yeah, we also like to drink. That's another thing I forgot to mention. We drink a lot. Slovakia may have its issues and terrible, terrible... Everyone likes a drink. I don't care what country you go into. Obviously, if you go into like Dubai and stuff like that, where uh, it's predominantly Muslim or non-drinking nation, but like South Africa, people love drinking. England, people love drinking. It depends on where you are. Like, it, it's not only here. That's what I try and explain. I've, I've lived here for quite a while now, and I don't see drunk people up and down the road every day. Saying that, if you go into town and you go near the railway stations, um, or like, like the Tesco's in town, there's a lot of homeless people there and they are constantly, constantly drunk. And because the alcohol is so cheap here, I think it makes it more accessible to people who shouldn't have that much access to it. That sounds horrible. I don't mean it like that. I mean, they should rather have access to cheap food and that because cheap alcohol and people who like a drink, it just feeds the addiction as a horrible cycle and that's why i'm off the booze because i have got an addictive personality and i was scared of what i would become so i'm not saying i'll never drink again but i'll never get to the point where i'm having a beer every day and yeah summer's coming i'll probably have a couple cold ones during the summer but i try to stick away stay away from booze
politicians, but it has great potential. It's my country, and it'll always be in my. <laughs> Wait. Hold get on a second. Stop it. To... The power is brilliant here. I don't get this whole electricity thing. Yeah, he's joking, but don't think the power is bad. You've always got electricity, guys. Don't worry. Fix this. <laughs> And don't oh, forget to subscribe! Yep, subscribe. What an awesome legend. Guys, if you haven't checked out his channel, please go and check out his channel. He's got some awesome, funny videos on there. They are so good. Uh, he's, he's, he's awesome. He's a really good YouTuber. I really enjoy his content. And yeah, just enjoy it. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. It means the world to me. I mean, they're ticking up slowly and it means the world to me. We're going to get back to the old Slovak videos soon, uh, like exploring and the backyard farm and everything. Uh, but like I say, if you do like these reaction videos, I'll stick the link down in the, in the description below. And you can go and subscribe over to that channel. Like I say, I'll be uploading two videos there a day at least because I'm, I don't mean to sound like an idiot, but they're so easy to do. I mean, they're not difficult to do at all. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a great rest of the weekend. I know it's Sunday and if you're watching this during the week, I hope you're having a cracking week at work or doing whatever you're doing. Peace. <laughs>